The 2018 Farm Bill, which is vital to America's food supply, will expire and possibly renew this year, although the priorities for this next bill do look a little different. Now, KLBK's Elizabeth Fitz spoke with a local nonprofit and Congressman Jody Arrington about what their hopes are on this. Elizabeth? Terry, there is a lot on the line with this bill, like keeping food affordable and accessible, providing job security to those in the food and agriculture industries, which the American Farm Bureau says makes up more than 14 percent of U.S. employment. Since the 2018 Farm Bill was passed, the Texas Farm Bureau says farmers have experienced market volatility, inflation, supply chain issues, and natural disasters. With supply chain disruptions, with uh, inflation, I mean like 300% yeah. level inflation on inputs, fertilizer, fuel cost, um, and with historic droughts, they have been up against some serious headwinds. Advocates took all that into account when drafting more than 60 proposals for the new bill, including funding for conservation programs, helping new farmers get loans, and streamlining nutrition programs to get food to low-income families. Uh, there will be a uh, global food shortage uh, that will come sooner than we anticipated. We need American farmers to satisfy that new demand. It, it generally takes a couple of years building up to a uh, farm bill legislative negotiation mm -hmm. where you listen to the various stakeholders from across the country. That would include nonprofits like the Plains Cotton Growers. A five-year bill is, is kind of unique. We can sort of plan in a small window, but we never would have guessed that we were going to experience the type of weather-related incidents that we've experienced this year, be it drought here or all the wildfires and, and now flooding you see in California, and that's something we have to pivot and adjust on on an every you know five-year basis. Now, advocates are asking legislators to consider improving crop insurance and Title I that producers uh, typically rely upon to weather some of the systemic price decline that we see in the marketplace, which we're seeing today from a year in, year and out standpoint. And we also have to have farm policy to keep us at a level playing field in a global market. And we've got to get those policies right to bring stability to the ag economy, mm -hmm. to bring some certainty to our producers of all kinds around the country, and to allow us to prosper in rural America. The farm bill expires in September, but negotiations may last longer. As these conversations and decisions unfold, we will keep you updated right here on KLBK and over on our website, everythinglubbock.com. Good stuff, Elizabeth. Thank you.